Hi, welcome to the British Bird and Prey Centre in the National Botanic Gardens of Wales and Carmarthenshire. So I am here to learn more about falcons and also owls. So in this video we are going to be focusing on falcons. So there's lots of different falcons that you can find in Britain. One of the most common ones is the Eurasian kestrel. So we'll go find kestrels. Sammy's also here. There she Hiya. is. <laughs> These are kestrels. We've got eeny, meeny, miny and mo. So kestrels are one of the most widespread ones in Britain, but they're also uh, sort of struggling a little bit. That's because of vole population. So they depend strictly on voles and small rodents basically to feed off of. Also nesting habitats is quite restricted for them. So they usually uh, nest in like cliffs or uh, trees, things like that. But they're now becoming sort of condensed to where they can breed. Other ones they have here is Doris. Doris is a hobby and hobbies eat dragonflies. They're pretty much summer visitors contrasting with Jack who is a merlin. They're the smallest type of falcons that you can find in Britain. One of the classic falcons that you can see are peregrine falcons you can find on the coast. So these are the fastest falcons. So what makes a falcon a falcon is by their um, structure. So their wings and their tail are tapered. So that gives them that aerodynamic that makes them quick and makes them able to fly. Kestrels are the only ones that can hover. So their feeding style, they will hover above their prey, look at where it is and then dive in. So we have got Enzo here. Enzo's got a different feeding style in that he swoops. So they'll swoop down and catch their prey that way. And <laughs> we are in the Gyro Falcon enclosure with Puddle. <laughs> Go pester Sammy. I've lost him now. There he is. No, you're not climbing up my back. You did that once and you weren't out of breath. No. <laughs> the Jarrah Falcons are one of the biggest falcons. Well, they are the biggest one, mainly from tundra areas. So Puddle is still a baby. So with the guys, I've got Sammy in here with me, so I'm not on my own. But the idea is just to play with him, to keep him occupied because he is young, but he doesn't get flown. I think Puddle is probably one of everyone's favourites. It does seem like Sammy's favourite. Sammy's just trying to force him to eat at the moment. He needs to eat. <laughs> He's like, no, I want to run around. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Puddle. Come on, Puddle. I've got a falcon on my leg. <laughs> Oh, oh no, not cool. <laughs> there you go, Sammy's got him. I don't really like you. <laughs> my <laughs> pink boots are appealing. It's probably the stripes, you probably think some another falcon. You want my boots, don't you? Yeah, go, go play with Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting too close to my camera. Okay, right. Should we pop you off? Because you're going to... Right. <laughs> Come here. Oh, <laughs> so this sort of concludes the episode on falcons whilst we're still in here with Puddle and he's occupied with Sammy at the moment. But if you are interested in visiting the British Spirit of Prey Centre, you can do so by purchasing your ticket from either up here at the centre or you can do it from the entrance at the Botanic Gardens of Wales. You just need to come in and come up and visit. It's honestly an amazing place to visit and you get to meet all these birds. You also have flight displays that go on three times a day with the birds. That's just Puddle being a bit annoyed. <laughs> You've also got the opportunity to fly kites and to meet some of the other birds and chat to everyone because the team is amazing so you have an opportunity to learn more about these birds and what they are currently doing for them. He's <laughs> just watching Puddle at the moment. <laughs>
So yeah, come visit Puddle and the rest of the team. <laughs> okay, until next time. See ya.